Are you tired of doing endless sit-ups and crunches? 7,086. 7,087. With no results? Well, stay tuned because today I got five new exercises to give you that rock solid core that you've been looking for. First up, we're gonna do some kneeling band crunches. So it's a very simple exercise. All you need is a single 41 inch band and a high anchor point. You can use a wall anchor, you can use a door anchor strap, pull up bar, whatever you have handy. And then this exercise is very straightforward. So you're just gonna kneel down, you're gonna grab this band, and I like to grab it, like basically reach up as high as you can reach so that you get some tension, and then when you start to pull yourself down, it's gonna give you more tension for the crunch. And then also keep enough band between your hands so that when you bring it down behind your head, it's not stressing out your neck or anything like that. And then you're gonna scoot yourself away from the wall just to get kind of a straight line from the band down to your knees, from the anchor point down to your knees, and then we're gonna pull that core in tight, and we're gonna crunch down squeezing those abs, get as low as we can go. And if you need to back up to get a little bit more range of motion, that's totally cool. Just remember you wanna fully extend at the top and then crunch down, <sighs> exhale, big squeeze, and then control it. Don't let it slingshot you back up. <sighs> Fight that tension all the way down. And what's sweet about this exercise is we're adding some resistance. So as opposed to like a standard sit up or a crunch where all you got is your body weight and you're laying on the floor, we're adding resistance here just like we do with any other strength building exercise. All right, next up, we're gonna keep it even simpler and we're gonna do some crunches but with a little twist. So grab yourself a 13 inch mini band, wrap it right around your feet and we're gonna do what we call running man crunches. So you're basically just gonna get down into this dreaded sit up crunch position. And then what we're gonna do, instead of doing a standard crunch, we are going to bring our opposite elbow to opposite knee and use that mini band to add some resistance. So we're coming up, keeping that one leg on the floor and then the opposite leg, we're bringing it up. <sighs> Exhale, squeeze it, touch that elbow to the knee if you can. Control it on the way down, <sighs> up, squeeze control it on the way down. And we're trying to get those scapulas, those shoulder blades to come up off the floor. And it's, this is all about control, time under tension, and really squeezing those abs. And this should give you some great ab engagement and a good core pump. All right, now we're gonna work some kneeling core rotations. So this one is a great one because it works on that rotational and trunk stability, which is even more neglected than traditional ab training, but it's so crucial, especially when you're doing functional exercises and just staying balanced and keeping your muscles balanced as you're building strength, as you're getting stronger. So to set this up, grab yourself a single 41 inch band and we wanna anchor it right about waist height. And I would say start with a light band because this is a more challenging exercise. And like I said, it's often pretty neglected. So you're probably gonna be a little bit weak in this exercise. So we're gonna get into this split lunge kind of kneeling stance where our inside leg is down or the leg that's closest to the anchor point is down. Outside leg is up and at like about a 90 degree. And then you wanna be far enough away from the anchor point so that when we reach over here, we have that band kind of pulling us into this rotated position. And then the exercise is very simple. We're gonna keep our arms straight and then we're just gonna rotate right around as far as we can get, keeping that left arm straight or that inside arm straight and then fighting it on the way back. Keeping everything nice and controlled and just going through these reps. Core pulled in tight, squeezing those abs. and just cranking out the reps, keeping it nice and slow and controlled. And then obviously you'll have to just turn around, switch the other side, so you do both sides evenly. Next up, we're gonna make it even more fun and challenging. We're gonna do some slider knee tucks. Now I've got this little uh, sweet cart that we've been kind of playing around with here at Clench Fitness. And it's basically for like hamstring work, core work. It's, what's really cool about it is you can anchor bands to it and then it just rolls and it's got these wheels and stuff on it. You can find them on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link down in the description. And let me know in the comments if this is something you might be interested in from Clench Fitness. 
we'd be happy to bring this product if there's enough interest. Um, to do this, it's super straightforward. Grab yourself a 41 inch band, anchor it low, and then if you have the cart, you can set it up like this. Otherwise, you can use sliders, you can use paper plates or like a couple of towels under your feet on a hard wood floor. Just anything that's gonna allow you to kind of slide those feet, tuck your knees. Getting into the exercise, pretty straightforward. Make sure that everything is set up right. You got tension on the bands. And then we're gonna start out in this like plank position. Walk yourself out a little bit so you got some tension at the bottom. Plank position, keeping your butt down. And then we're just gonna do some knee tucks. <sighs> Exhale, get them up as far as you can. Control it, slide it down. <sighs> Exhale, and if you need more tension, you can walk yourself out, which is an exercise all in itself that we could do. <sighs> Exhale, big squeeze, let it down nice and slow. And this is a burner. <sighs> And the, the worst part about it is trying to keep it under control. Like I could go fast and bang these out, but I wouldn't be getting any benefit. <sighs> keeping it under control and keeping my abs and core and everything tight is where you're gonna see the most bang for your buck. And for those of you that do have a cart like this, here's a little bonus exercise that you could throw in as a superset. You can basically just flip around, keep the same anchor point, and now we can do some wheel extensions just like this, reach way out, keep your core pulled in tight, and now you're gonna have some band tension to fight against and really challenge that core. Again, the secret with this is slow and controlled, keeping that back flat, full extension, and full retraction. All right, I saved the best for last. We're gonna be doing some hanging knee raises and we're gonna add a 41 inch band here at the bottom that we're gonna hook our feet into. So you just, if, if you have a pull up bar, basically find a way to string a band across the bottom. You can use band pegs. You can use the J cups depending on how tall your rack is. It's very easy to get in. You just hook your toes in. And now this pull up bar is a little bit short, so I'm gonna have a limited range of motion, but with the addition of the band, it's, it's going to give me a lot more resistance anyways, so this is still gonna be a great exercise. Now, I like to basically find a comfortable grip because we're gonna be hanging here, and then hang down, make sure my feet are out in front of me, and then we're just pulling up as tight as we can, big squeeze, let it down nice and slow, pull it up, fight it, let it down nice and slow. And again, we're trying to contract those abs and really feel it in our core. And that is a great ab exercise. There's six new core exercises for you to try. Let me know in the comments which one of these you're trying first. Also, if you liked what you saw today, be sure to smash that like button. Furthermore, if you wanna see more content like this, check out the on-screen video links. We have tons of content on this channel just like this for you. Furthermore, if you need any of the bands or accessories shown today, head over to clenchfitness.com. We will hook you up and thank you for watching.